you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. This is Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z. Here are your hosts, D and Z. Welcome to this week's episode of Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z. I am Z, and here's how it goes. D and I will give you our top one, two, three fantasy sits or red lights, and our top one, two, three fantasy starts or green lights. We're going to start with our red lights first. Who are we going to sit this week, D? Well, first off, I'm sitting Tom Brady. Uh, mm. Bucks offense averages 17 points per game. It's putrid. No thanks. Second, Devontae Adams, Derek, Derek Carr. Was bad. Jared Sidham will be worse. So there, uh, Devontae Adams is out. And my last one is uh, Mike White. A lot of people think they like to spot start this guy, especially with Seattle having a piss poor pass defense. Man, Seattle's a tough place to play. I think Mike comes back uh, to reality, especially if everyone is, uh, you know, not wearing a suit and tie before this game. <laughs> I am staying away from Justin Fields at the Lions. Lions were embarrassed by the Panthers. I think they're going to be howling. And I think they're going to be out for retribution. Justin Fields is going to have a long day as it is because the Bears, frankly, aren't very good. But that's going to make it even worse for him. This may sound like a no-brainer. Sit Russell Wilson. Sit him. Not to mention the fact that the person that they offered the interim head coaching job said no. They'd go their second choice of their interim. This guy's on the staff. This is going to be a major issue, a major headache. Do not touch Russell Wilson with a 10-foot pole. Do not start Deshaun Watson. Stay as far away from him as possible. For obvious reasons. But, referring to his play, it hasn't been there. And, that front seven of the commanders, pretty darn good. Chase Young, Allen, Sweat, that's just three of them. Economies can play commies can play and that is going to be a nightmare for one Mr. Deshaun Watson those are our red lights who are our green lights D? Uh, I like the backfield of the Dallas Cowboys I like both Tony Pollard and Zeke tomorrow night against the Titans I hate Thursday night games but you got these guys go for it number two David Montgomery versus the Lions David Montgomery posted his best fantasy game of the year two weeks ago. I like Montgomery in this game. I think two touchdowns, maybe three. And I like Foreman on the Panthers. Dude has been tearing it up all season. Most likely, if he's on your team, you're in the championship game. I like his chances. And I like the Panthers against the Bucks this weekend. Good choices. I like Daniel Jones against the Colts. Colts are not very good. Daniel Jones has been better of late. Still not sold on him. Had plenty of production meetings. Had a little uh, had a little conversation with, with DB as well. I'm still not sold on him. But in this matchup, I like what he can do. He can run the ball. And he's got his arm. He's got Bellinger. He's got Slayton. He's got this kid Hodgins. They're developing some chemistry. 
I think Daniel Jones goes through about 350 and two touchdowns. I'm thinking monster game to propel the Giants into the playoffs. I like the Seahawks defense against the Jets. <laughs> so do the Seahawks. Not, yeah, so the Seahawks. So do, you know, so does Geno Smith for that matter. Tariq Woolen having a fantastic rookie year. Michael Jackson having a good year. <laughs> and I think that, I mean, it's amazing. They don't miss a guy like Bobby Wagner. It's amazing to me how little they miss Bobby Wagner. This guy was the anchor of their defense for what? Six years? Maybe more? And just like, okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. But they're going to go after Mike White. They're going to hit him hard. They'll probably pick him off at least twice and have the Jet fan scratching their head, having Robert Sala scratching his head, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But that is a pretty, pretty safe bet. Seahawks D against the Jets. And then last but not least, I like Dawson Knox. I think Dawson Knox is a is one of the more reliable tight end options in the league, if if not the best this season. You know, not named Travis Kelsey. They're going to move the ball on this Bengals offense, or Bengals defense rather, and he'll get his because he usually does get his. Everybody gets to eat in the Josh Allen led offense, and Knox is his primary target when it comes to needed yards. Explosive play will look elsewhere, but when he, when Josh Allen needs some yards, he always seems to find Dawson Knox. Those are ours. Who are yours? Hit us up, faderoutmail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Hit us up on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Time for us to run the go right again. We'll talk to you next week and have a happy and healthy new year. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.